Let's keep going. Next step is, well, let's, let's keep going on this right here. Okay. So you have 1 half m v2 squared. Now v2 is the unknown. Okay. Equals weight times change of height. That's it. Okay. So let's keep going. So let's rewrite this up here. V2 squared equals weight times V Z. Okay. Mass is weight divided by G. Okay. V2 squared equals weight times V Z. Weight and weight cancels out. Okay. So now V2 squared equals you know, move all the known quantity to the right hand side, leaving the unknown on the left hand side. So we have 2G delta Z. Or V2 equals square root of 2G delta Z. Okay? So, it's kind of interesting here, weight does not appear in the result here, okay, using the water energy method. Weight doesn't matter, okay. So, you know, your weight can be a thousand pounds, or it can be ten pounds, one pound, right, as long as these assumptions are true, you know, this equation is valid, okay, so you can use this equation to find the velocity, okay, at any position, okay, if you know the change of height. So let's plug in numbers. So 2 times, now keep in mind this is English unit, so 32.2 feet per second squared times delta z, which is 40 feet. So the crunch number turns out to be 50.8 feet per second. Okay? So 50.8 feet per second at position 2 at the bottom of the track. Okay. Next, we'd like to find the normal force. Okay? The normal force at this position. Okay? How do you find it? Well, let's come back to this free body diagram right here, position two. And you have a weight going down, you have a normal force going up. Okay. Let's borrow this free body diagram right here. I'm going to draw a kinetic diagram. Okay. I need this because now I need to use Newton's second law to help me find this normal force. Right. So, kinetic diagram. Down here, okay, in kinetic diagram, I need to draw the acceleration. Right. Now, at this position, since this particle is along a curve, I have two components of accelerations. Okay. Using the tangent normal coordinate system. Now. I use tangent, okay. tangent, and normal coordinate. Okay. So the tangent component of acceleration is going this way, and I'm going to write the whole term m a t, right? and then the normal component, okay, m a normal component. This tangent component and part of this, this bottom position. Okay. What is it? Let's look at it. Your car is accelerated. Okay. It's going from one to two. Okay. So velocity increases okay, up to this point two. The moment it passes point two, it decreases. So velocity reaches a maximum. Uh, this acceleration, a tangential component acceleration, is 
dv dt, which is the slope of velocity, which is zero at this position. So, at is zero. Okay. So the only acceleration to survive here okay, at this position is normal component. Okay. So I can erase this right now. So I'm going to apply second law okay, for position two. Okay. So looking at this free body and kinetic diagram, sum of forces equals M A. And again, this is my normal direction, and this is my tangent direction. Okay, curvature and coordinate. And here, the only thing I'm interested in is the normal direction. Okay, the so normal direction, because the tangential direction, acceleration is zero, and I have no tangential forces that appears here. So, which is consistent, right? So, tangential force is zero, and tangential exertion is zero. Right? Zero equals zero. So, only normal direction is of interest here. So, I'm going to write sum of Fn equals mass times An. Okay, here. Since N is positive going up, so, left hand side is normal force minus weight. Right hand side, mass, which is weight divided by g, times an. What's an? Well, from chapter 12, an is v squared over rho. That's v2. Okay? v2 squared over rho, which is given. Okay? So, here, the only unknown is normal force. So move this over plus g v2 squared over rho. Keep going. So weight plus this times. Now v2 has been solved for before, and if you like, you can actually solve for v2 squared itself. Okay. So v2 squared is 2g delta z divided by rho. Okay, now plug in everything now. 2000 plus 2000 divided by 32.2 times 2 times 32.2 times actually just to cancel out, right? And then delta z is 40 divided by 20. That's it. And then you crunch number. Change out. Simply 10,000 pounds. Okay, so that's the answer.